Sweetheart, none of that was pointed at you or any misunderstandings. The only misunderstanding she has is herself. And yeah, food for thought. Yeah, I've thought about all that with Hollis and the neighbor and everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. No, I don't have any problems. I'm not all beat up or pissed off or fucking ranting and raving about her or whatnot. I'm not, not trying to do that at all. It's like, what? Does everyone just look at my fucking record or something and just treat me that way when I come out to fucking help and do all this stuff? And I tried to explain to her, I, I've been around these type of dogs my whole entire life. I've fucking been a part of Iditarod and fucking sled dog teams and fucking all the rest of the shit that multi media never fucking talks about all over alaska like our t100 200 300 fucking all the shit in gakona glen allen fucking all over the fucking state that i've been a part of like i was only trying to help she was the one freaking out the dogs weren't freaking out they're just happy as can be she never explained these are two new lead dogs so and then she was talking about, oh, they get aggressive when I'm walking right up to them. They never bit me. They never did nothing. They were all like, all about me and fucking wanted the, they were curious about the girls. They're fucking dogs. They were like everyday dogs, like any sled dog team I've ever been. They, they were calm and the girls were sitting far. I'm not bowing down. I'm not bowing down to this bullshit and this fucking little pussyfoot little fucking pansy ass fucking society that's fucking been created. I'm not going to fucking pander to it. I offered my help calmly, all that shit. Like, how the fuck could you take me as coming out and be like, yeah, I'll get up there as fast as I can. And, you know, I'm like, well, I can help out with the dog. I don't know how I could have been taken as an aggressive person if anybody was aggressive. And should have fucking taken action. It was me with the fucking psycho running the dog sled team. It's like, you're not fit to own dogs. Are you fucking kidding me? That's how I fucking felt after it all. That's why I'm fucking a little like, what the? Who gives a fuck? Who gives a ball sack? I don't give a fuck about how any of these people feel if they can't fucking just talk to me like a grown-up you know the same way i deal with them and fucking situations when our fucking dogs are clearly not the problem do not tell me to put our fucking dogs inside when you're on our property are you fucking kidding me no no i ain't bowing down to this shit i ain't fucking no no one's even barking no one's barking except the fucking owners of the dogs telling me on my prop. No, see, this is how it happens. I've already dealt with this shit. Everyone telling me around how what I have to do and what I need to do and how you be quiet and how the fuck. No, shut the fucking front door. This is my motherfucking area. This is my motherfucking state. This is <laughs> you fucking came here. I wasn't doing anything to harm any of these people. Aren't we supposed to be the awesome neighbors? Aren't we supposed to be the fucking cool peeps that everyone likes? Like everyone says. So what's the fucking problem? Just saying. Oh my gosh. Love you, sweetheart. I can't wait to see you.